because of your requests, I wanted to do a video on how to take the perfect LinkedIn photo. People ask about that all the time. Um, the perfect LinkedIn photo looks professional. Professional, that's the key, right? It has to be a photo that represents you in the most professional of ways because you're using LinkedIn, not as a dating app, not to make a friend, it's not a photo album for family members of your fun times. It's a photo that you're using to connect and communicate with other executives and professionals, um, either to get business deals, um, to do collaborations or partnerships, or to get a job, right? We wanna make sure that picture is perfectly polished and put together and just represents you really well. Um, to inspire this video, I literally just scrolled through my LinkedIn connections and I made a list of everything everybody was doing wrong. And I thought I would imitate those for you because a lot of people are doing things wrong and they're little things, but they matter. And so we're gonna go through those today. Uh, get excited. Hi everybody, so today, I want to hear from you. What questions do you have? We've created a very short survey, I promise, but I'm asking you guys to fill out the survey and tell us, how can I continue to make more content that helps you grow and develop within your career? I am your biggest supporter, as always. I so appreciate all of the love and support. So I have my trusty list. I'm going to pick it up in a moment, and I'm gonna read through all of my things that you should not do. I'm back. Okay, things not to do. Hair in your face. Sexy photo of yourself leaning against a wall. Hat. Dark photos. You can't see anything. Too far away. Black and white photos on LinkedIn. Sarcastic eyes. Your face is cut off. Profile photo. No picture at all. Who are you? Too many accessories. You and a friend chin on your hands. So here's one that's a little bit controversial. So <laughs> hold the booze. <laughs> I noticed a lot of people have their graduation photo on LinkedIn. And, and I'm sure that there's an argument to be made for this, but here's the thing. If you're applying for a job and Intern Queen's a great example, I want to hire people with one to two years experience, but sometimes I can't find those people. So I will really seriously interview um, recent grads. But I think that when you have that grad cap in your LinkedIn photo, it's just such a loud announcement that you probably haven't had a job yet that it could sometimes deter someone from taking the interview. So I know, I know, but like put that on Facebook and Instagram. Why does it have to be your professional representation on LinkedIn? Because you might have like, so much knowledge and experience. And I think that the grad cap, I get where you're going with it. I just think it might work against you. Something to think about. Um, okay, and then to finish out this list, <laughs> car selfies, eh? And then travel photos. I just think you backpacking somewhere is not like, that's for Instagram or Facebook. It's not for LinkedIn. Okay, so I think from this list of don'ts, we can create our own list of do's. So clearly you can tell by all of my examples here, I want your face featured. I want you to look like you're dressed professionally. It doesn't have to be too stiff, but you wanna be dressed professionally. You want your hair out of your face. You want a really clear photo and you want a photo of you, not a wall that you climbed and not your friend Sally. You know, we want a picture of you and we want this to be a tool that can help professionally represent yourself. Um, in this social network that's so important for getting jobs. All right, guys, uh, I know that LinkedIn is a popular topic, so if you have any more questions, anything that I can further dive into to help you guys, please comment below. Tell me what you need. I'm here to help.